Kent Police emergency vehicle en route to an accident involving a tanker which has turned over and caught fire. This obviously presents a very hazardous situation, if of course it was real. In fact, I'm here today to take part in a demonstration involving data transference over the cellular radio system. How are you going to use the cellular system to help you deal with the accident when we arrive? Well, what it allows us to do is to patch in to access the computer system to retrieve chemical information to allow us to get information in a written form at the scene to allow us to deal with the incident as best as possible. And it allows the fire brigade to get that information to work as best as they can. OK, so we've arrived at the scene of the accident. What do you do now? Well, by using the emergency action panel, I want to try and identify the substance being carried on that vehicle. And I would get into excess to give me the properties of that substance to help us deal with the incident. Does the label on the back of the tanker always necessarily correspond to what's in the tanker, though? No, it doesn't, and we would always try and confirm at an early stage that the substance displayed on the labels is, in fact, the substance that's being carried. And using a specialist telephone number on there, and using possibly Vodafone, then we could get through to the specialist device to confirm that. If we can't see the label, it's been burnt or anything like that, then we would use the police national computer and go through to the registered owner. Right, now you've got the information, what do you do next? Well, I would, by using Vodafone Link, by getting into the computer, I would dial into the computer itself, this one in fact is a memory, and send in. When I've got the link of the computer, I change over to data, and then I log myself in. Can you see a future for use of this system? Yes, there is a future for this in chemical incidents to help us get the information as quickly as possible. As you can see, we've got a tanker inside. The light is containing cressoles. This is tanker driver, all right? Tanker driver's out. I've got a print out here for you from uh, ChemData, which would be of assistance to you. Emergency action code is 2X. The printout not only gives the emergency services full details of the load, but also vital information on how to handle the incident and deal with any casualties.